Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Pokemon TCG deck building. Today we're looking at Greninja from Forbidden Light. I love this Greninja GX. Um, a lot of people have started to use the Greninja Jet from Detective Pikachu, but you can't forget about Greninja GX from Forbidden Light. You can't. I used to. I remember I have. I still have actually a few copies of Greninja GX, and I used to love messing around with that deck. I used to love playing with Greninja GX. It was such an amazing card. Um, it kind of fell off. Not many people used it anymore, but we're going to try and bring it back today. There's a few new cards since Forbidden Light came out, so let's give it a spin. Let's see what you can do. First off, 230 HP is decent. It's on the low side, I'm not going to lie. First stage 2 GX Pokemon is on the low side. Things like Incineroar has like 250. Uh, new Sogaleo uh, Sog from Ultra Prism has 250. Um, I say Ultra Prism because it got, um, it got rebranded to be an Ultra Prism, so still in the format if you want to use it. Um, water type is great because things like Welder will be shaking in their boots, um, so that's great. Uh, two retreat cost is fine. That's, yeah, air balloon, that's all I gotta say. It's fine. Uh, weakness to grass is okay. You see a few Rillaboom decks, so keep an eye out for Rillaboom, but most times they are pretty scared of Welder decks, so you're, you're more or less in the clear with that. Also, water types gives you things like, uh, say, I don't know, Swift Wrath to get, uh, to heal up and switch at the same time, New Frost Moth to put energy onto bench water Pokemon, Quagsire to bring water, uh, water energy up to the active. You got a few good tricks for water types right now. Um, has an ability and two attacks. First off, Shuriken Flurry. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, so Frogadier, you may put three damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Does this seem familiar? It should be, because Obstagoon has the same ability. You can put three damage counters on anyone that you want when you evolve it. So it literally is Obstagoon's ability. Um, it's played well in the past before. I like it. I Again, I used to play it a lot. I love using this effect. So if you're trying to get rid of, say, a Mew, that's it, take it, that's kind of protecting their bench, evolve Greninja, slap it on Mew, you're golden. You're really good. You're, you're good. You're good. For one water, double colorless energy. Also, wait, before, I should give a shout out to Frogadier, because Frogadier, when you do the same thing, evolve from uh, evolve from Froakie, or Ditto Prism Star, if you're using that, you may put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. So it's basically, again, Zigzagoon, except a little bit beefier, but that's the price to pay for a stage one. So, yeah, just a quick shout out. Frogadier, also great. So for one water, double colorless energy, we have Haze Slash for 110. You may shuffle this Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your deck. It's great. So technically, if you're really rolling with Greninja, you can do this ability. You can do the ability at 110 damage over and over and over and over again. Um, one deck I would suggest using Greninja with is Greninja Frostmoth, because then if you have one Greninja up front, you keep attaching with the energy, then get as much energy as you can in your hand. Use Frostmoth, attach to as much energy um, to Greninjas on the bench once you've evolved them up, chipped off damage. Use 110, retreat to the bench, Greninja up again, and you're just going constantly. Just keep finding Greninja, keep evolving Greninja, and just keep using Frostmoth to do it because it always shuffles energy back in. That's one suggestion, but of course we're not doing um, we're not doing that type of deck. Probably show you guys at a later time because that sounds really interesting actually. Um, and for the same price, one water, double colorless energy, we have Shadowy Hunter GX. This attack does 100 day damage to one of your opponent's best Pokemon, so a good sniping mechanic. Um, this is just in case we're, we're running behind, we want to try and get someone's bench gone. Also keep in mind though, Mew will stop this ability, Mew will stop it, so you will waste your GX for nothing. Um, so just keep an eye out. But obviously Greninja GX is not alone, we're going to see who he's rocking with. First off, Ditto Prism Star, evolves to any stage 1 that you, that you have in your hand. It's great. Ditto Prism Star. Can't say nothing about it. That's, it's great. Next up, we have Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia. So this is one of the cards that I really want to add with Greninja since um, since Forbidden Lights come out. Um, obviously, I say that not. Obviously, I didn't know this was coming. But um, just looking at how many times Pokemon have been matched up with ADP, I thought why not give Greninja a try? Seems pretty good. Ultimate Ray, one Water, one Steel, one Colorless, 150 damage. Search three basic energy cards. Attach them to any way that you like. It's great. Ultra Creation, again, one steal, does 30 damage for the rest of the game, and one extra water energy, you get an extra prize card from KOing any Pokemon. Again, it's great, can't complain. We also have the Dene GX, put it on the bench, discard your hand, draw six. Everybody loves the Dene, we know what the Dene does, the Dene is great. We also have Inteleon as well, when you play this Pokemon from one of your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, aka Drizzle, you may search your deck for up to two trainer cards, reveal them, put them into your hand. Again, it's great, it's a great search mechanic, 
Uh, also, Aqua Bullet for 120, one water, one colorless, does 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. This is literally here just in case you run into, say, I don't know, Keldeo or a load of Ninetales, but more specifically Keldeo. Anything that counts as GXs. So, yeah, might want to might wanna keep track of Inteleon. Also, shout out to Drizzle that lets you find one trainer card when you evolve it. So, again, it's pretty good. Pretty good way to, you know, kind of get a quick, um, easy way coming either for your turn or the next turn. So, I, don't, I can't complain. It's pretty good. We also have three copies of Casting Catcher, two Energy Searches, three Evolution Incense, three copies of Lily's Pokedor, because once we attack with Greninja, the idea is to put Lily's Pokedor up front to, co to stop us from wasting a prize on any of the others. Uh, two copies of Quick Ball, two copies of Switch, one Tag Call, two Chaotic Swells, two copies of Beedee, four Cynthia's, two Cynthia Caitlyn's, two Guzman Hala, two copies of Marnie, two Air Balloon, one copy of Triple Acceleration NG. Now, for the record, if you attach this to Greninja and do Hay Slash, this does not get discarded. It goes back into the deck because Greninja brings everything that is attached to it back into the deck. So, good little shout out for that. We also have two copies of Aurora Energy, three Steel Energy, and six Water Energy. So, with that being said, Let's get into it. I am so excited for this. Okay, so fire, darkness, colorless, and steel. Okay, um, fire, darkness, colorless, and steel. Okay, I have no. I've, I'm. You lost me, chief. You've completely lost me. Right, draw, draw, draw. Okay, Froakie to start off with. That's not ideal, but all right, I guess. I mean, it's not ideal. Another frog in here. Might as well stick on this. Nah, 30 damage. It's gonna do 30 damage for each. Yeah, for each has an ability, 30 damage. That's fine. Now, if I get dead, if I don't get a Cynthia or at least another Marnie, I've pretty much gone and lost this, haven't I? There we go. Cynthia and Ditto. Fantastic. Cynthia and a Ditto. That's uh, well, great. Right, ADP, Ditto, attach, um, a switch would be fantastic. There it is. Thank you. Switch. Um, quick ball, get rid of a BD. For, I'm going to say, what is here? Cost of catcher BD and Marnie. Should I say Dedene? Trace the sub. I want to say. Oh no, but that gives him an extra 20. That gives him an extra 20 to work with. Uh, fine, 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 fine. No. No. So two, four, six, eight, nine. Screw it. I can last. I can withhold it. So get Drizzle to put Drizzle onto Ditto, then get Evolution Instance to get Frogadier. Um, evolve Frogadier, put 20 on the Cooper. I want to say use Cynthia and get lucky for the. I could eat, if the next cost Frogadier, that works great for me because then that's an extra. Because then we can put it on the Froggy that's got damage already. Just something, it's just something. I'm just trying to think. Okay, steel type. Okay, that works better. Right, drizzle. Because I'm just thinking I needed a, um, I needed a, what's it called? Steel type energy. All right, evolution incense. Put this on Frogadier. I can one hit Hoopa anyway. So I'm just going to snipe that Charmander. And get the one hit regardless, so that's fine. Shuffle back over. Release Pokedol is great. Let's maybe switch over to it. Better off. Leave it like that. Then ADP goes back up, gets the hit. Cynthia and Caitlyn gets rid of Guzma and Hala, I would say. Bring me back my BD. Um, I want to say Marnie. I want to say Marnie. Because I want to dead draw this guy. Cynthia and Caitlyn. Gets rid of Guzma and Hala. Give me back. Oh, yeah, let's go with Marnie. 
uh, raw energy, evolution incense as well, that's fantastic. Greninja, evolve to go on to Charmander again. Then ADP, oh my god, I didn't alter creation. Ah, I didn't alter creation, that's fine. Just get rid of him now. Just, just don't wait. <laughs> right. Um, one on Greninja. Uh, one on Froki. And let's say, I don't know, Inteleon, when, if we get it. Inteleon, if we get it. And if not, then it's a good little retreat cost. All right, Air Balloon. How much damage does that do? 130. If it's Welder, then I'm screwed. But then I can hit him back. Oh, there we go. GG. Right, next game. Let's do this. Okay, so Psychic and Steel. Um, oh my God, who is Psychic and Steel? Psychic and Steel. Why have I got Sogaleo and Lunana in my head? Why have I got Why have I got those two in my head? That can't be right. That's not right. Lucario Melmetal as well. What the? That's not right. Right, Froki. Yeah, that works. Water Energy on Froki. Retreat from Lily's Pokédo. We're good. We are golden. Right, Lucario Melmetal. That's fine. Attached. Retreat. Um, free retreat is always a good thing. Um, I'm going to say snipe Lucario Mermetal because Full Metal Wall is going to give me a lot of problems. Um, then evolved Frogadier. Cynthia, see who we get for. I'm going to say see who we get first with Cynthia. If we don't get anyone decent enough, then put the energy onto Frogadier. If we get ADP, then put the energy on ADP. Um, we need. BD, if we get BD, that works well for one turn. Oh, ah, he's working with Magnezone. Okay. Meltan as well. Okay. I guess Melmetal would work great, because, yeah, if you... Yeah, I guess Melmetal would work really good, actually. It's fine. we still got... We've still got Lady's Pokédo up front. Actually, no. Frogadier. Snipe the Lucario Melmetal. Snipe them first, because obviously more prizes. Cynthia, see how this goes. If we get ADP, attach energy. Well, we do have ADP, but we've got no energy. Um, so that's a little bit annoying. Come on, custom catcher, give me something. For energy, that works. Um, ADP, get rid of... I'm going to say... Grishman Holler, because we already have special energy attached, air balloon, and a stadium. That means, luckily, if we get lucky... And it's energy, we can do alter creation. Don't mind getting hit one time for that. Ideally, I would want quick ball. Ideally, to then get to Dene without losing cards. Or even better, I'd rather get a Cynthia or a Marnie, but I don't think we're gonna get those either, because I really just doubt we're gonna get them. I think if anything, we're gonna get another Frogadier. Or Drizz even Drizzle. Drizzle would be helpful. Evo Incense. Because then get Drizzle. That would be very helpful. Alright, so technically if he healed if he heals, then that's 250 damage every time. Oh boy, that's that's damage I can't hit. That is damage I can't really hit right now. Um for my goggles, that's damage and stops abilities, so I've got to watch out who he puts that on. I have to be very careful on who puts that. Quick ball! Yes! Right, quick ball. Get rid of air balloon. Dedene. Dedene. Yes. Fantastic. Fantastic. Right, Dedene. Yes, please. Get six cards. Draw, 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 draw. Frogadier, I could put on, actually. Yes, please. Um, and snipe the Karimama to again. Energy search for a water energy. Um, quick ball the other. Uh, do I say air balloon? No. Quick ball Cynthia and Caitlin. Just might as well. For. Do I say Sobble or do I say Froki? I'm gonna say Sobble. Wait, do we have. No. We don't have Drizzle. We don't have Drizzle, so there's no point. Um, right. And then I'm gonna say air balloon onto. Frogadier. Cynthia, draw, 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 draw. Let's tackle. Um, this Pokédoll goes back in. Nice little trick of free retreat, and then all the creation. Brilliant. Wait a minute. 
I just realized. I just realized something. How did we see any Greninja? You can't tell me all three Greninja are in the prizes. No. No. That's not right. Because I saw Inteleon. Did I see a Greninja? Oh my god, did we see Greninja? If Greninja's not if there's if all the Greninja in the prizes, then we, we've not got this. We've lost. We'd have to do ADP. No, that's not right. That can't be right. No. No, you're lying. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. There is no way. The worst part is, I don't. The worst part is, the only way I. No, I can check with Tackle. I can check with Tackle. No, but you're lying, though. There is no way. There is no way that you've lit. What? No. I did. I had to see one. I must have seen one. Must have. Water energy, that's fine. Tackle. Okay, two of them. Oh, I was about to say. I was about to get very, very worried. Oh, I got very worried. So that means just a Frogadier, a Frogadier and a Greninja is in the prizes. Um, I'm going to say, yeah, just attach. Just don't even worry about it. Just attach. Right, Greninja, please. No, there's the Pokedoll again. That's fine. Ultimate Ray. Grabs me two prizes. Um, one, two, three. I'm going to say attach one to Frogadier. Attach one to Frogadier. And attach one to ADP. Right, so what we've got now? We've got Frogadier again. And who else? Marnie. Okay. Um, double Marnie. I guess we've got no choice unless we get Cynthia back. But how many Cynthias have we used? Use two, three. We might have no choice but to use a Marnie. That's. Oh, well. Now we can use Marnie and not feel guilty. So we'll still be so if we hit Melmetal, metal we'll be a hundred we'll be 30 damage short unless we hit Greninja. If we hit Greninja, we've got Mel Metal. Yeah, that's the only thing though. We need we need Greninja. If I do Frogadier now, we'll be we'll be short. We will be short. We'll be short by 10. That's even more annoying than actually getting it done. Um, I'm going to attach to... Yes, actually. Put it on Karima Metal. I'm going to attach it to... Frogadier. Hoping luck with the Marnie. Please, Marnie, get me Greninja. Greninja. Yes. Okay. I think that makes it... Yeah, that hits it. Then Greninja. Yes, onto Mel Metal. No abilities. I forgot about the goggles. I forgot about the goggles. I forgot about the goggles. I'm. St Everyone does Metal Frying Pan. No one does the goggles. Right, onto. Yeah, just one each. What's that? 260. That's fine. He's just going to heal up 100 damage. That's 20, so it'll be 130 off. Which means I need the other. I need the other one. Oh, that's not nice. That's that's not nice. 150. Oh, that's not nice at all. That's not nice. Ah, oh, no, that's not nice at all. Ah, that's not good at all. Oh no. Right, and then three green ninja. Um, let's see, double switch, Cynthia. Our oh, last Cynthia. Right, there's this Pokedoll. There's Evolution Incense. There's Greninja. Let's see, who can we snipe? Actually, should we just snipe the... Just snipe the Kari Momotl? Yes, snipe the Kari Momotl. So this Pokedoll goes up here. Um, and then a slash Look at that, 80 damage. Yes, shuffle all back in. Get energy back. That works fantastically well. Yeah, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. These pocket all up front. Good to go. Get get rid of my car 
in it. There's no way he can get energy back by the next by the next turn. I could just do KOX as well. How much he does 90? I can literally just retreat Lily's Pokedor, attach energy to ADP, and that's it. Game. He can try and retreat to stall, which is the best option right now, to be honest. Um, I can Cynthia and Caitlyn for Aurora and get back. I'm gonna say, well, I'm running out of cards actually, but I could just say Cynthia. Right, so it brings back Jirachi. So the good thing about Lily's Pokemon is that if you discard it, it's not like um, unidentified fossil workers in discard. You can literally just put it back at the bottom, put it at the bottom of the deck. Alright, so I want to do for five. Okay, definitely Marnie. Uh, that's annoying. I, f I keep, I f I completely forgot about that stupid num. Uh, the stupid goggles. It's rare that you see anyone use the goggles. Everyone prefers doing the frying pan. Ah, uh, you rarely see the goggles get used. Okay. Right. So KOX well first. Cynthia and Caitlyn afterwards. Get me. I want to say Cynthia. Actually, no, Marnie, because now he's got mad draw. He's got crazy mad draw now. Um, right. If I, if you're trying to keep him away, I'm just gonna have to keep sniping him then. Um, ADP is the best option, I suppose. Right, Lady's Pokedor back in. I love Lady's Pokedor because it just works as a free retreat. It works literally as a free retreat option. All right, then Ultimate Ray. Get some of my two extra prizes. Um, attach energy, that's not good. Um, that's not good at all. Right, it's that one, triple XL, which is great. And the other Greninja, but the... Speaking of, where is the other Greninja? Wait, what? So I did one with Ditto, I did one with Greninja, that means... Have I got a... Have I got a Greninja? No, but then one of them's Drizzle. Have I lost the Fur... Have I lost the Furky? I've not, which means there's a Furky somewhere in here. I thought I've seen all my cards by now. I guess not. I... I guess not. Um, right, well, on a good note, um, well, that Mew won't save you. Mew will not save you from Greninja. That's fine with me. Do I have switches still? No, yes, I do. I do, actually. 130. If he gets energy back, which I hope he doesn't. If he gets energy back... And puts it on the car in Mermetal. I've lost this game. Um, yeah, if he if he somehow pulls it off, I've lost this game. Um, so let's see how much damage will that do? One back to one ten. Back to one ten, and I can retreat him back. Put up Polkadot. Do I have any air balloons left? I do not. I have switches though. Should I chance it for a switch? Um, yeah, you know what? <sighs> See if I chance it for a switch now. You know what? Let's just chance it for a switch. Marnie, give us some luck, please, and switch it. Switch, please! No. But that works. That's a bit better. GG, dude. GG. Ultimate Ray. And we're done. That, that's a bit better. Oh, see, because if we could have done Switch, and then we could have just swapped it all over, but you know what, it's fine. We did it, we smashed it, smashed it completely. Okay, so, ADP Greninja. I really like it. I like it. It's very creative, in a sense. Um, doesn't really go up the idealistic way, I'm hoping. Ideally, how it kind of starts off. I mean, the game that you just saw with Froki retreating to Pokedol is pretty much a good way. The ideal way that I want this deck to go out is that if you do ADP first, get Alter Creation running, then just go crazy after that. Um, you can use Lily's Pokedol for mid game when Greninja is up and running and can do damage afterwards. So the whole point is that ADP does Alter Creation, you hit first, um, or you hit afterwards, get the energy, stock up on one Greninja, um, either ADP gets knocked out or you find a switch, switch over to Greninja, uh, Greninja does one now 140, um, after chipping away the damage and whatever. Um, if you have Frogadier ready to go, or you have 
um, Lily's Polka Doll, then shuffle back in, bring Lily's Polka Doll up, or bring someone else who can tank a good hit, like Inteleon or ADP. Um, take a hit, or take, well, just last their turn. Um, then Lily's Polka Doll can retreat back in, bring ADP back up, and you just recycle that process over and over and over again. So ADP, switch over to Greninja, or wait till it gets knocked out, switch to Greninja, Greninja hits, switch to Lily's Polka Doll, either Lily's Polka Doll tanks the hit or gets retreated back, and then uh, either Greninja or ADP again. That's literally how it can format. The only reason that I put Triple Acceleration in here, considering that in Triple XL is a bit of overkill for both Inteleon and Greninja, is that if you don't have ADP up and running as fast as you would hope, um, Triple Acceleration Energy is literally there when you want to get there quicker. So, for example, in that game that you saw, uh, I put Triple XL on Greninja ready to go in case we did get a switch. Luckily, we got custom cat. Luckily, we got two custom catches, but um, we the whole thing I was thinking of is that if we get switch, we can swap over to Greninja to stop ADP from getting hurt and just smack and then just smack it afterwards. Retreat Greninja back. Hopefully, we get um, Froakie, Frogadier, and Greninja up quick enough and then just get Lee's Pokedol, ADP, and just keep going that way. So, luckily with Triple Acceleration Energy, it gets shuffled back in, so it's a bit easier that way. So, yeah, it's nice. Um, if you want to go out for an all-out kind of attack with Triple XL, then Inteleon is your one to go to, but Triple XL works great because Greninja doesn't discard it, it shuffles it back in. It's fantastic. Uh, what other things are there? BD, we didn't get to see BD, but um, again, BD is just there in case you are running behind. If you have Frogadier ready, but no energy, or you have Greninja ready, um, but again, no energy. Say, for example, Lily's Pokedoll is up and you can't get uh, Greninja fast enough, you know you're not going to make it. You could slap on one energy, BD again, slap on another energy, so by the time Lily's Pokedoll goes and it's your next turn, just one more energy, and then you're set to go. Uh, Chaotic Swirl works fantastically well, uh, can't complain. Any deck that doesn't have a Prism Star card at this point, um, or Mount Coronet, as you saw in the last game, anything that doesn't help the specific typing, I would probably suggest do KOX well. Um, again, Dragon Dex, KOX well just works because most decks just don't have it anymore. Um, but then, yeah, anything that's not like Lightning, Fire, Fairy, anything like that, KOX well. That's my opinion anyway. Um, Switch, again, works fantastic. Quick Ball, again, great. The one copy of Dedenne, I actually don't mind. The only reason why I put one copy of Dedenne in there is that I don't want to keep discarding my hand. Because if we keep discarding our hand, there could be cards that we need. Because these cards are very essential. Like, the energy is essential, and we've got no way to get energy back. Um, the Pokemon are essential. Like uh, like how we said, we, if we missed one, it kind of messes up the plan a bit. That's why I was freaking out that we didn't have any Greninja. Because then the plan just kind of goes to ruin. Inteleon you don't really need. Inteleon is just kind of there to kind of get the energy up going. Like I said, Evolution Incense, Lily's Pokedoll, Cynthia for a next turn, Marnie to disrupt, um, Air Balloon in case you want to swap out the active. It works kind of that way. So Inteleon is not essential, but again, if you want someone to go against Keldeo, works quickly with energy and can also get you trainer cards, for example, two custom catches and stuff like that, like I said. Um, Inteleon's the one to go for, in my opinion. You can add in one copy of Rare Candy um, to get Inteleon running or Greninja running, but you are missing the opportunity to get Frogadier and, Grenin and Drizzle to the best of their ability because even though their HP is a bit low, their ability does make up for it, in my opinion. Because again, Frogadier, it just Frogadier and Greninja chip the damage away at, um, at Lucario Mermetal, and we got the knockout using um, knocking out uh, Lucario Mermetal. It was great. I actually didn't mind it. So that's why I didn't add Red Candy in this deck. It is a longer process, but it works a tiny bit better in the long run, I think, in my opinion, anyway. Um, Ditto came in clutch, as always. Works great. A cheeky little two hit, uh, two damage with Frogadier. Um, again, with a deck like this, if you're focusing on Alter Creation, that's that's fine. If you're focusing on Sniping, again, that's fine. Um, things like Mew to protect the bench can just get knocked out with two Greninjas or three Frogadiers. Um, I've got no issue with it. It's it's great, actually. Um, but that's my opinion, anyway. Um, if you guys have any idea on what I should add in, let me know. If you guys have any idea what I should take away, again, please let me know. I think the most thing I might get rid of is Guzman Hala. Just one. I might keep one, but definitely a Guzman Hala I'll get rid of for something else. I'm not sure what yet, but for something. Maybe Energy Retrieval. Maybe a way to find out Pokemon Bell, because um, ADP I really need to find. Um, or maybe another switch who knows but um yeah that's my opinion anyways guys but again if you've enjoyed always hit like and always click another video guys always welcome back and i'll see all of you in the next video right guys take care and i'll see you all later okay bye